Yo, look at this suit, right? Just a standard Spider-Man suit. Now this. It was perfect. Perfect. Everything. Down to the last minute details. So, as you couldn't tell by the intro, I love web wings. To me, they are some of the best add-ons for a Spider-Man suit. And today, I'm gonna teach y'all how to make them. These web wings are gonna be heavily inspired by the design of the spectacular Spider-Man web wings. And there is gonna be no sewing throughout this entire tutorial. So what are we waiting for? Let's get to work, shall we? So what you're gonna be needing for this project is a Sharpie, white puff paint, nylon white spandex, fabric scissors, fabric glue, and a piece of paper to draw your template. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is create your template. And with that, this is my web wings template. With the width of 12 inches and the height of six inches at a 45 degree angle on each side. After you're done creating your template, you are then going to grab your fabric and lay it on a flat surface. Surface. You are then going to put your template over top of the fabric and then trace it out with your Sharpie. Don't forget to do this for both sides. After you're done drawing your web wings onto your fabric, you are going to cut them out with your fabric scissors. When you're done cutting out your web wings, you are then going to start drawing on your webs. You are first going to sketch them out with a Sharpie. I highly suggest using a Sharpie pen because it has a much thinner line compared to a normal Sharpie. You're gonna wanna draw two lines around the middle with four inches in between each. And you're gonna want your lines to be at around a 70 degree angle. After those two lines, you are then going to do the lines that go across the width of the web wings. You're gonna wanna have two inches in between each line. Now that you're done with your first set of webs, we can now move on to the puff paint. When it comes to the puff paint, I suggest taking your time because it can get messy really quick if you're not careful. After you're done with your first set of webs, you're gonna let it dry for about six hours. After they're done drying, you are then gonna flip it over and puff paint the other side. After that side is completely dry, you are completely done with the making of the web wings. <laughs> Finally! Now we can start attaching our web wings to our suit. First thing you're gonna be doing is setting your web wing down on a flat surface, and then you're gonna put your suit over it. Make sure to have your suit stretched out so then the fabric won't be glued in a certain way, which can cause the suit to be very uncomfortable when wearing. After you lay your suit over top of the web wing, you are gonna put glue on these three specific spots. After that, you are gonna put a line of glue on these two specific spots. Then you're gonna pad the glue out and make sure it's even along the sides. After you're done with that step, I suggest waiting for around 10 minutes before flipping the suit over to the other side. Once you flip it over to the other side, you are then going to put five dots of glue in these specific spots. After you're done adding the glue, you should wait for a few minutes before smearing the glue around to make sure the web wing is fully attached to the suit. After you're done with the first web wing, you are gonna repeat the entire process for the second web wing. Your web wings should now be completely done. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'd say for this tutorial, I definitely went with a more basic approach, but that's where y'all come in. You might end up making web wings that seem more dark and edgy, or you may make web wings that have a more simplified look and seem more lighthearted. But really, that's up to you. This tutorial was mainly just a basis for how to make web wings. So really, if you like this form of content, you can like and subscribe, I guess. You really don't have to do that. Another thing you can do is go check out this video on how I made Spider-Man boots. And yeah, bye guys.